keeping our promise for clean environment aqua care solutions enviro engineers pune proudly presents plc based automated effluent treatment plant let's understand how this system works raw effluent is carried to wastewater treatment plant via effluent pipeline the wastewater passes through bar screen to remove oversized impurities it then gets collected in the collection tank the collection tank is equipped with level sensor to detect presence of effluent in tank and status of hide of wastewater in the tank on detection of adequate quantity of wastewater the level sensor will activate the controller which will start the submersible pump automatically based on input from level sensor of equalization tank the plc will decide which valve to be opened and discharge effluent in it once the effluent in equalization tank reaches to predefined level signal will be generated by level sensor to start the agitator after reaching the high level of tank signal will be initiated to start effluent flow in second equalization tank also an indication through the buzzer will be given as soon as flow will start to the second equalization tank the valve of first equalization tank will be shut off automatically once effluent in both tanks reaches to specified level lime and alum dosing will start based on ph level sensed by ph sensors the lime dosing pump will operate and regulate the flow of lime solution automatically the alum dosing pump stroke setting will have to be manually adjusted based on regular daily jar test to establish dosage of alum required the alum pump start will be automatic after lime pump this dosing will be sequential as per the filling sequence of the tanks dosing will be continued till ph level reaches to 9.0 this ph level is maintained at 9.0 throughout the operation after reaching to desired ph level indication will be given via buzzer on plc panel once system reaches to this desired level further action is needed to be taken manually the dav central drive unit will first need to be started this will be followed by start up of the air compressor followed by start of dav pump the further actions will continue on automatic basis after the dav pump begins the dav high pressure pump and alum and polymer dosing system also starts this brings all effluent in circulation in dav system the output of dav high pressure pump and air compressor is connected to air dissolving tube which further leads to the dissolved air flotation system both poly dosing and alum dosing are combined with outlet of daf pump processed water from daf system is stored in aeration feed tank and sludge float is sent to sludge holding tank 
The water from aeration feed tank is pumped into aeration tank by aeration feed pump once high level is detected by level sensor in the aeration feed tank. Aeration process is sequential but a continuous process at a regulated average flow rate per day. It also takes input from sewage treatment plant, hence reducing requirement of separate aeration tank from STP. As water from aeration feed tank is pumped in aeration tank 1, the overflow of tank 1 begins and the effluent then begins to flow into tank 2 and further to the secondary clarifier. The sludge recycle pump operation is continuous and in manual mode of operation. A DO meter is provided to analyze oxygen level in the aeration tank. The treated effluent from secondary clarifier will flow by gravity to filter feed tank for further tertiary purification. At this stage, the ozone mixing unit starts and ozone is mixed into water to disinfect it and kill bacteria besides oxidation of residual BOD and COD concentration. With help of sand filters, the treated effluent is further purified and residual suspended particles or colloids are removed. The final treatment is the use of UV system to achieve higher degree of purification. With the help of display provided with UV system, all information about water treatment can be viewed. In this automated PLC system, all rotary equipment, pumps and filters are equipped with standby arrangement which automatically switch on after 12 hours. Filters will be backwashed in this time period for efficient working. This automated system helps to achieve higher quality of filtration along with saving time and cost. Let's continuously initiate and take tiny but positive steps forward towards building a clean environment.